Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to classify polynomials. You can name a polynomial based on its degree or the number of monomials it contains. And from our previous videos, we know that a monomial is a real number, a variable, or a product of a real number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. Here we have a table which contains polynomials, their degrees, the name using the degree, the number of terms it contains, and the name using the number of terms. So basically, you can classify polynomials in two categories, the name using the degree and the name using the number of terms. So first, let's kind uh, let's take a look at these polynomials. So we have 47, 2n minus 9, 5c squared plus 7c plus 15, 7m cubed, and 8t to the fourth minus 7t squared plus 3t. Here we have degree. So what exactly is degree? Well, the degree of a polynomial in one variable is the same as the degree of the monomial with the greatest exponent. So you're just trying to find the value of the greatest exponent. Well, 47 is a non-zero constant. That means it does not have a degree. So its degree is zero, and zero has no degree, so you'll simply write zero as the degree. And since this is a non-zero constant, the name using the degree will be constant. In our second example, we have 2n minus 9. This has a degree of 1 because n has a degree of 1. Remember, if the variable does not have a degree written on top of it, that means it's always going to be 1. Okay, The exponent will always be 1, so the degree will be 1. And the name using the degree it will be linear. If you have 5c squared plus 7c plus 15, in this case, our polynomial has the greatest exponent of 2. So the name using the degree will be quadratic because the degree is 2, or it's squared. If it's cubed, that means it has a degree of 3, it will be cubic. And in our last example, we have 8t to the fourth minus 7t squared plus 3t. The greatest exponent in this polynomial is 4. So this will be to the fourth degree. This is the name using the degree. So this is one way to classify a polynomial. The second way is, is using the number of terms. Well, 47 is a single term, so it will be a monomial. 2n minus 9 has two terms, so it will be a binomial. You can remember this as bicycle because bicycle has two wheels, and a binomial has two terms. In the same way, if you have, it has three terms, so it will be a trinomial, such as a tricycle, because a tricycle has three wheels, and a triangle has three sides and three angles. Uh, 7m squared, 7m cubed is a monomial because this is a single term. And our last example, 8t to the fourth minus 7t squared plus 3t is three terms, so this is also a trinomial. So this is how you classify polynomials. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope you watch our further coming up videos as well. Bye!